Yeah, definitely. Um, sometimes coming off a bye, uh, the boys can be a bit flat, but I thought um, we played with some good energy tonight. Um, and our next month are against teams whose seasons are on the line, so you know we're going to come up against some tough games. And um, as I said, Brook Brookvale Oval is a hard place to win, so I was, I was really pleased with uh, getting the result, but also improving in some areas that we, we're looking to improve in. Uh, yeah, well, I didn't, um, I never at any stage, um, yeah, felt too worried. I was a bit disappointed with how we started the second half. Uh, you know, we squandered a, a good lead earlier against Cronulla. Uh, so it was, I really would, would have liked to have seen us start with a little bit um, harder edge to us in that second half. Um, certainly they got a, some points early and uh, we gave them a bit of a sniff there. So it took us another 20 minutes before we got control of the game again in that second half. But um, I thought we finished it off the game really well. In particular, um, our defence at the end there was um, you know, full of energy and we were moving well for each other. Is that the main focus for you guys for the next sort of few months? Is <coughs> yeah, defence is um, uh, the part of our game that we need to improve um, and I thought you know, tonight um, we defended well um, and so yeah, it was, it was a good night from that respect. <coughs> oh, look, as a coach you always try to keep a lid on expectation because you know, there's still a lot of free to be played in this season, still, you know, this is uh, including tonight, there was, there was eight games to go. So uh, this time last year, we were 13th on the ladder and, and ended up missing out on the four by two points. So as I said, there's still a lot of footy to be played yet. So um, look, it's good that your fans and supporters and stuff can get excited about potentially what might happen. Um, you know, I can't control <laughs> everything that happens up there, but amongst us as a group, we know what's ahead of us, what's at stake, and um, we're. Uh, you know, we're not getting too excited just yet. We've got some hard work to do. Yeah, too, you find yourself, there's still a lot of football to be played. Um, we've got a really tough month coming up. Uh, you know, those teams that we're coming up against are, are playing for their season, so uh, they're danger games for us. And you know, we need to keep preparing the best that we can to get the results that we want. And um, you know, we put ourselves in a good position, but. Uh, with that, you still need to prepare very well and making sure you're turning up and doing your job. Yeah, very fresh, uh, especially mentally. Um, you know, it's a tough period, middle of the season. Um, you know, so to be able to get have that break, uh, you know, I got the week off, not playing against the Sharks, and then um, you know didn't. Play, uh, train for a whole week, come back on Wednesday, so uh, the body and you know, physically and mentally feel, feels good and um, you know it's an exciting time for us, the back end of this year, coming into the finals, but we know we've got a lot of work ahead of us. Is that, is that sort of in contrast to the last few years, how do you know, but this time of year, JT might be a little bit more tired? Yeah, well we've been in a different position yeah. this time over the last few years, you know, we've been chasing our tails. Uh, after an origin period, you know, we put ourselves in a good position, and it's about, uh, I suppose, you know, playing consistent football over this next, you know, month. And uh, you know, like I said, and Greeny said, we're coming up against some desperate sides that are playing to stay in the eight and play, uh, you know, stay in the final hunt, the finals hunt there. So, you know, it's a big month for us, and you know, we've got to keep preparing the best that we can. Oh, I don't know, mate. Look. I've got to take my hat off to the boys that are, uh, that are around me. Um, you know, Lock and Coop has been outstanding for us. Obviously, Morgo's grown an extra leg since playing Origin football, and um, Jakey's been outstanding for us at, at nine. You know, uh, our middle third have been great. They've laid a platform for us, and Jakey's been outstanding out, out of there. So, you know, everyone's co contributing to our results, and, you know, I suppose I'm just playing my part within the team, and that's what we need 17 blokes to do. Yeah, definitely. Um, and that's what Origin does. Um, you know, us coaches whinge about it. 
loses your players for origin, but the the, uh, the payback is that your players come back um, usually uh, better players. And I think um, Morgo's hopefully is a great example of that. He needs to take that confidence and, and what he's learned at that level and make sure he's bringing it back to to what we do back at the Cowboys. And I think um, tonight he can be showed some of that. I've um, got a bit of a knee complaint, so we'll, we'll see how bad that is. Um, so, uh, yeah, we'll see how that is. It's not too bad, though. That's me. That's me.